What's your boy Z Gaming? I'm back for another video on The Walking Dead Road to Survival. Guys, in this video, I got a quick um, armory pool I'm going to do. I got a prestige pool, and I'm going to go over this. Um, I believe it's a solo survival road turning real quick. Kind of give you guys my thoughts and opinions on the prizes. Um, yeah, okay, it is a solo. So, um, as far as this level up goes, it is about a day left. Uh, you know, I've got about 500,000 points. I might, like I said, I'm probably going to go for the top 100, maybe top 10. We'll see. Um, just depends how many of those 100k XP scavenger missions I get and my resources and stuff like that. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this um, solo survival road breakdown real quick. Then I'll do the pulls for you guys. So completion rewards. Um, let, the medals are nice. I don't see why they're still giving out the bronze and silver radios. Um, well, I guess I can understand why. Um, but I'm still interested to see what's going to happen with the gold radios if they ever do come out with them. Um, you know, maybe, who knows, it could be a good roadmap or something to farm tokens or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, these radios, though, unless you're in a newer region, guys, or unless you need them to farm some of that gear, um, you know, which, by the way, I believe they they did open the um, Ultimate Gear roadmap, which is cool. Um, they opened all the stages, so now you don't have to do one, then the next one, then the next one. You can choose to do whichever one you want to, so that's cool. So, really, since they've done that... Um, I, the completion rewards are not as great. You know, the medals, like I said, are nice. The ascendance medals are good. Um, legendary medals, but other than that, um, it's not that great, to be honest. Rank rewards are actually pretty decent. Five-star tokens, um, those broken heart tokens. And then these bags again, which are good. You know, I'd like to see maybe the top player, um, get a six-star crate for, you know, the hockey mask or something like that. Maybe top two. Other than that, though, not too bad. Um, the gear, like I said, is not bad. You can use it. Um, the Broken Hearts are good, and the Five Star Tokens. So overall, not a bad. I'd say maybe a B. Um, they could have done a little bit better with the um, the completion rewards, but other than that, not too bad. Um, this is actually kind of interesting. You can get Negan's Crate, which I think I already went over this, but you know, just in general, I think that's pretty cool to get two and one, especially a six star and his weapon. That's pretty cool. Um, what's the other crate? I didn't look at the other crate. So, okay, is is it the same crate? Oh, okay, one gives you the six star with the weapon, and then the other one gives you the five star version with the weapon. So that's cool. Um, but in general, guys, you know, let's see what we can get. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this elite item token. The then I might do the um, armory pull, then the prestige pull. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So Benedict or Aiden, and I'm happy with it. We're gonna pull it on Rob, the Rebel Trainer. And what did we get? Oh, we got a waste tool pack. You know, it's not too bad. I'll take it. At least it's better than hiking boots. So I'll take it. Um, got that thirty percent crit. Um, unfortunately, you know, as you guys saw, did not get the, um, 30% on that absolute zero or absolute defense, um, St. John carving knife. So I'm going for another stun gun. I'm trying to get a couple stun guns built up for offense as well, but this is going to be key because I need this for my mirror bell because I'm going to give her a better defensive weapon with this, hopefully. So here we go, guys. Come on. Give me that absolute, or excuse me. Give me that stun gun, Earl. Come on. Okay. It went critical. That's good. Oh my goodness, please tell me I got the stun gun. Come on, please tell me. I yes, I got the stun gun. Come on, that is my third stun gun, guys. Yes. Okay, now I got to get um huge AP bonus when attacking and then 35% defense, and I got a very strong weapon here. I'm very, very happy with that, 100%. You know, that is a good pull. Hopefully my luck with Earl is turning around. I hope all you guys are having good luck pulling as well. So that's a very good pull. Um, now, I guess the ultimate test is can I get a good prestige pull? Um, who do I even want to pull it on? We're going to pull it on Green Carl, guys. Why not? Here we go. Come on. Give me a five-star. Come on. Okay, I got a four-star, so I'll use her for a sentence. But there it is, guys. You know, going over the tourneys. Um, very, very happy with that pull. Um, those critical territories do pay off on occasion, and I do like them for what they do. Um, I'm just very happy to get that stun gun. So now my next goal is to get that huge AP bonus, like I said. And with all that really being said, guys, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want a possible shout-out. Drop it in the comments or message me over the line. My line ID is in the description of every video. Thank you guys again for all the support. I can't believe um, how crazy um, the numbers are getting, guys. Especially, again, big shout-out to Mama Deadhead for giving me a shout-out as well. Um, I can't believe, guys, we're almost to 1,000. We're, like, I think 90 or so away, roughly around there. So um, I, I just can't believe it. I appreciate all the feedback and support you guys provide. And um, also, if you use Discord, the link is in the description to that as well. And if you want to make me an offense, the link to the Ross reveal is in the description as well. And with all that really being said, guys, this is your boy Z Gaming. Peace.